Peace family, my name is Vicki Dillard and I'm so pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. As you come in, please make sure that you like, that you share and that you subscribe. Thank you so much. Let's get right into it family. You know that we are moving into uh, this presidential election is coming up in just a few months, right? And Black folk, especially the Black grassroots, uh, we're not getting ready to just give our vote away. We want quid pro quo. You've got to give us something for our votes, beloved. And what we are demanding is reparations, a targeted, specific economic plan for Black people in America, foundational Black Americans, descendants of American slaves. And we're not you know, you can't massage us out of there. You can't, you know, do a chicken fry and a fish fry us out of there. You can't put no church choir robe on and trick us out of that. We're becoming a more politically mature class. With that being said, um, we're seeing some interesting manifestations and in opposition to this righteous demand, even from so-called white allies. Now, one such ally is a lady by the name of Jane Elliott. Jane Elliott is known as a, um, you know, a um, anti-racist um, lecturer. So she's a Caucasian woman that goes and travels and lectures. She's known around the world um, by, you know, exposing and talking about the realities of white supremacy and racism, right? Well, she's beloved by top black folks. I remember some years ago, Oprah Winfrey had her on the show. Roland Martin was hailing her praises and stuff and T.I. and other prominent black folk as well. That's good that she admits um, the problems with racism and white supremacy in America and in the, in the world. But beloved, this so-called ally that we've allowed to come to the black family barbecue all the time is showing her colors. Now she did a recent podcast um, with some black podcasters and she was talking real good about uh, uh, anti-black racism and white supremacy and all that, right? But then when it came down to reparations, I want you to listen to this little clip. Solve this black problem by making payments to black people. But if you're going to do it that way, then first you have to pay off the Native Americans whose land we took and whose homes we took and whose people we killed in the millions. No, they, they, got, paid. they got paid. We'll have they, to... They have land. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, they, really? They, they have land. They have you reservations and they also have oh, economic Oh, yeah. And oh, would you they like to talk to taxes? me about reservations and what a wonderful payment that is? Would you like to be on a reservation? Do you, would you be willing to, would all the black people in this country be willing to take a reservation? That's what, that's what the nation of Islam was asking for. Well, it, is that a smart thing to do? I don't think it was. I don't, I don't it, think, it, it I depends think it, on, it depends on who's, who's driving that, that go car, on, who's the captain. Go, on on the Navajo, go, on, go to a Navajo reservation and see if you think you'd like to live that way. No, I, I've, I've been to a reservation. I've been to a reservation uh -huh. in, uh, in Did Montana. Did you think it was a really comfortable place to be? Say it again. Do you think it was a really comfortable place to be? The way that they were living, no, nah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't live like that. Oh, well, but so, but um, okay, I'm, but, we but, won't but, even go but, there. But the whole, but the whole there. planet is a, but the whole planet is a prison for black people. So like, it it can't get any worse for black people. So you you can't. I, I'm not gonna look at somebody else and say, oh shoot, like I don't want my own land. I don't want a shot at that. I would never say that. A black person is not going to say, I don't, I don't want to have a chance to, to create my own civilization and my own society. Everybody wants that chance and everybody deserves that chance. And black people deserve reparations in the form of land, in the form of cash payments, and in the form of some type of tax consideration. So, yeah, it may not have worked out for the natives, but this is 2020. And this is a totally different oh. group of people. And everybody is not the same. Everybody's leaders are not the same. And so... I'm I'm not gonna judge or I'm gonna I'm not gonna project onto black people in America, well, if this is what happened to the natives, you don't want that. And I and I'm not and I'm damn not damn sure not gonna say, well, we need to pay the natives. The natives already got paid. They already made their deals, they already signed treaties, they've already done what they did. And if they squandered their opportunity, that's on that group. 
Now it's time for this group to get its opportunity and to get its reparations. But you are saying exactly what I have heard white politicians say. We got ours, now you got your, you get yours. We, get, we worked hard to get what we have. We suffered to come over here. We were willing to kill people in order to, to have this land. We got ours the hard way. You get yours the hard way. You're yeah. saying exactly the same thing. You're saying the same thing that pale faces have said to Native Americans, and they're saying it to you, and now you're going to say it. This is not the solution to the problem. Now, family, isn't that something? You see, members of the dominant society don't mind sympathizing with you, being emotional with you, talking to you. But all of that is superficial. That's not substantive. That's not tangible. What can you do with talk? They're so used to us not demanding something for our vote, not demanding punishment for our murders not demanding justice and not demanding reparations, economic and financial repair for our free labor, for building the most powerful and the most wealthy country on the planet and start it and sparking wealth, quite frankly, amongst other nations around the world. They just don't want you to ask. And so even she's being exposed and she's manifesting and showing her own privilege in that video. And she is exasperated. You know, she's cutting the brother off. She's being condescending. And the reason she's being that is because we are the ones that big up her in the black community. Black family, if members of the dominant society don't co-sign the truth that we know, it doesn't make it any less truthful. And notice she shows the concern about the extension of their lives and so forth and the necessity, in her words, of uh, making peace and getting along with Black folk. What's in their hearts are being revealed. And I want to let you know that when Obama helped to get um, gay marriage passed, when Obama took unprecedented action for DACA and immigration folk, when Obama uh, uh, initiated um, a lot of different policies that disproportionately benefited other members of uh, the dominant society, Black family, we must be uncompromising in our demand for reparations. We are demanding tangibles. We are demanding like Dr. King said, and they don't like to talk about this part, we're demanding our check. And so Joe Biden, Donald Trump, the DNC, the RNC, and any other politician and governmental official or entity, you guys can play around if you want to. You can take your chances to see what's going to happen on election day if you want to. Or you better get serious. Or, you, or if you were in your right mind, you would get serious right now about a serious economic plan that's targeted for us. before you come up wanting on election day. Somebody talk black to me. Thank you so much for tuning in to African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure that you join my mastermind class where you have exclusive um, access to me once a week. I'm answering uh, your questions and I'm dropping once a week a spiritual metaphysical principle, clubvicky.com. That's clubvicky.com. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. And please make sure that you check out my website at missvicky.tv. That's missvicky.tv. The information, the links will be in uh, the description box. Thank you so much. I came to you in peace. I leave you in peace. Love you. Mwah.